Welcome to Brad YouTube videos. We're going to set up a service dependency on Nagios XI. First, what we're going to do log in. Alright, we're going to log in to XI and we're going to go into services I want to pick my host I want to look at that we're going to set up so what we're going to do here is we have an NRPE check so this is a Linux box and we have this just checking NRPE and then we have a cron D check and a R syslog check and these checks are solely dependent on our NRPE so if NRPE goes down these checks are going to ultimately fail. So that we want to set up a dependency that if this goes down, NRPE, that these two checks will stop running and also not notify. So we don't want any notifications of services that are going to be down regardless. So we want to reduce as many false positives, as many email alerts as we can. So we'll set up a simple service dependency for this. And it's all on one host. So right now, with no service dependency, if I stop NRPE on this host, and since we don't have time, I'm going to do a force check. for all the services. And we'll come back. So now if you see all three are red. <clears throat> and if we want to go a step further here, I'll do another check just so I can get the state from soft to hard so it'll send a notice and we come to notifications here and here we go here are the three notices that just got sent out for NRPE check cron D and RSYS log if we had a service dependency set up properly we would only get this email if NRPE went down we wouldn't even see these other two because we know these are going to go down if this is down so let me just explain that like here so here's our host and here's the NRPE check and here's the two services that are dependent. We're going to make dependent on this check. So if this is okay, these two checks will start running and everything will report as normal. And if this check goes down, these checks automatically stop running and don't don't report at all. Since we know they'd be down if this go, if the NRPE demon goes down. So that's what we're going to do. So to do that, we're going to go to the Core Config Manager. And we're going to go to service dependencies. And we're going to add a new one. And we're going to call this uh, NRPE. Uh, inherit from parents, you can keep that enabled. So we're going to select the host. We're dealing with one host here. So get the, select the IP of your host. Close. And the service that we want, it's got, there's, uh, this is a service dependency, so you have to have a service involved. Um, we're going to do the NRPE service. Oh, sorry, I think I screwed up. NRPE check, here we go. Alright, so we got that part done. Let's get the dependent services let's, oh I'm sorry we gotta use the dependent host since it's the same host just do the same IP but you do have to specify that same host and then this service dependencies that we want it to be dependent on cron D and our syslog so if it's okay if the process if this service is running we want it to keep we want these services to keep running so leave OK unchecked and only under warning critical unknown 
and pending do not run these things. So if this service is in this st any of these four states, do not generate any reports or notices for these dependencies. And that's just the execution. And then the notification, you do the same thing. So that way you get both. And 24-7, hit save. Apply your configuration. Okay. Um, okay, service bonus is there, it got written. So now what we want to do real quick, we got to start that service back up. So let's restart it. Make sure the status is good. Okay, everything's running good. And now, come back here. Service detail. I want to see this one by itself. So this should kick off here soon. I'll just force it. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Advanced uh, force an immediate check all services. We come back. We're all green. Except for the Apache. I'm not worried about that. So these three checks are green right now. So now, let me just check the notifications. We should have got three green, yep, here we go. We got three green alerts saying that the service has recovered. And let me just make sure flap detection is disabled. Okay, good. We want to do testing, flap detection. If it's enabled, it kind of impedes on your testing when you're constantly turning on and off failures. So we're going to go back here, service detail, 1013, and this time now, we're going to shut down the service. Oh, oh shut, service is down, oh no, let's run it again, advanced, force an immediate check on all services. Interesting. Okay, well, when you do a force immediate check, it looks like um, it will get the current status, so it won't stay green. So technically, this was critical. We would expect that these would not run. So this current OK status should have stayed, but it didn't. But that's because we did enforce an immediate check. That's why when you do service dependencies, you want to make sure this check, the interval time is quicker than these checks, because sometimes this check can kick off and fail right before this one checks to, and fails. So you can get that kind of lap. So you got to want to kind of make sure your configurations are clean and time-wise is spread out evenly. So, but we won't get a notice for sure. We should not get any email from these two alerts. So to do that, let me, let me force this into a hard state one more time. I'll do an immediate check. Come back to here, and we should get that. Okay, great, notifications. And we get the one, just the one, which is perfect, was what we wanted. So now we, now we say, if this service goes down, by the time it gets to its hard state, the other services will not send out an email. This is really handy when you have a system like a Linux system or any other that has a lot of checks in it and they're, they're dependent on a certain daemon because you can get a lot of NRPE checks. And watch another video I have where you can set up, there's a setting you can modify in the static configs for host dependency on all services. So if the host goes down, you'll get a host notice but you won't get anything on the services. You can do that, which is really nice, because if the host goes down, you know all the services are going to fail, obviously. So watch my next video for that.